Hi, Matt Rosendahl with a review of my new Construction Master 5 construction calculator. The calculator comes in this blister pack with a case. If you want to take it out in the field, this is a tough rubber case from Armadillo Gear. The inside of the flip open lid has a little cheat sheet with some of the common functions you might run into in the field so you don't forget how to calculate things. I don't use this case because I do most of my work on blueprints so we'll set that aside. It also came with a CD and now this is not an install CD that inputs anything on your computer this is merely a video tutorial that shows you how to do some of the complicated functions of the calculator. It also came with a slip-on dust cover in this case I do use just in case I spill something on my desk or want to keep the dust out of the keys. The back of the calculator has a little pocket that the quick reference guide slips into. I have a few things highlighted in the manual just for quick reference that I use on a regular basis. <clears throat> I added these two strips of velcro to the back for the desktop stand that I built to hold it upright. Because I work on blueprints a lot I wanted to be able to easily read it. It's got a couple rubber feet on it to hold it in place on the blueprints. And it's handy for this demo too because you can very easily see the display where it wouldn't be so easy if it was laying flat on the desk. So let's run through a few calculations so that I can show you the functionality of the calculator. Some of the most common calculations that I make with the calculator are the feet and inches calculator for uh, to get the decimal equivalent to put in a Windows software program. So for example we might have a room which is 12 feet 3 inches and 3 slash 8. So we've got 12 foot 3 and 3 eighths of an inch by 14 feet 8 inches. It equals and you can see that that room is 180.125 square feet. It's a pretty handy function. Another function that I use on a regular basis is simply to convert things into the decimal format. Now you can see that this already gave it to me in decimal format, but if we want to hit clear, if we have 12 feet 7 inches, we can hit convert feet and it'll give us the decimal equivalent of that. And you can do that with any of the functions that the calculator will give. Any of the results you can convert them into decimal format. Another function I use on a regular basis is the Pythagorean theorem. And this calculator has the theorem built into it. So we can put in say a 12 feet of run and 35 feet of rise when we hit the diagonal button, it will tell us what the diagonal is of the hypotenuse. It's pretty, pretty handy. Oh, now you might notice that my finger keeps going down here to hit clear instead of up here at the top. And that's because the old version of this calculator, which is the Project Calc, also from Calculated Industries, had the clear button down in the bottom left and I've used this calculator every day for seven years so I'm used to the clear button being down at the bottom. This calculator still works fine, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm going to take it out in the shop and use it in my workshop. Uh, it was missing some of the features that I wanted though besides some of the fancy features. This one of the simple things was simply uh, the backspace. This has a little back arrow that you can use as a backspace and this one also has a memory plus function so if you're adding multiple things you can just keep adding through the memory and this calculator doesn't have a memory function to it. Another nice function that this calculator will do is the circular function. So we can take say a 14 inch circle and we hit the circ button and it tells us okay we're going to call that the diameter. When we hit circ again it tells us the area of that circle is 153.9 square inches and if we hit circ again it gives us the circumference which is 44 inches. I have the preferences in the calculator set to round feet and inches to the nearest half an inch so it may be just a little bit more than 44 inches so if we hit convert inch it'll show us that it's actually 43.9823 
inches. The calculator will do a lot of other functions that I don't have any use for, including calculating stairs and uh, weights. It will do the metric system conversions. We can calculate uh, board feet and uh, uh, roof jack spacing and number of studs in a wall. Uh, it will do a lot of really nice functions, so if you are in the construction trades and you would like to have a little easier calculation tool, the Construction Master 5 is just the ticket. Uh, if you have any questions about the calculator, feel free to ask them in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer them for you. You can also buy the calculator with a link that I'll include down in the description that takes you right to uh, this, the Amazon shortcut. Thank you.